though, we are asking you to be honest. When was the last time you washed your reusable water bottle or the straw inside? Well, it's something that a lot of people maybe don't think about. The I-Team teamed up with Quinnipiac University to see what may be growing in your favorite cup. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams is showing us what they found. Hi. <laughs> My name is Cassidy. We're over Channel 3. We went on a hunt at Quinnipiac Student Center. You look nervous. <laughs> Honestly, I am. We were looking for students with reusable water bottles. It's like my emotional support water bottle. We wanted to test to see what's inside. All right, take off the whole thing for me. We swapped both the inside. And then we have to do the straw part too. And wherever you put your mouth. Well, I know it's gross because I don't really wash it, but I only put water in it. Oh, you might find some stuff in there. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty gross because like when you're living on a college campus, you don't get to wash things that often. We collected samples from 30 30 different water bottles. Then the swabs went over to the lab at Quinnipiac's Buckman Center. The microbiology laboratory manager, Donna Sue Gresser, led her students through the testing process. Each swab was tested two different ways. A recent study from waterfilterguru.com found on average a reusable water bottle had 40,000 times the bacteria of a toilet seat. We wanted to know what our test would find. We came back six days later to see what was growing. They all grew bacteria. They all grew quite a bit. Medical microbiology major Matthew Pinsley analyzed the results. He says all the swabs grew bacteria, which isn't surprising considering how much bacteria is in your mouth. But it wasn't just mouth bacteria that they found. This one usually inhabits soil. So that could mean that soils, you know, dirt is getting on our bottles. Pinsley created this graph to show the types of bacteria found on the bottles. There was bacteria from the throat, soil, water, and other places that could not be categorized. And notice that big yellow slice? That's fecal matter. This is E. coli. Around 30% of the swabs had fecal matter. I think it is indicative of how sanitary we are, that we are finding bacteria that are, is in our stool on our water bottles. So can any of the bacteria found make you sick? Well, it depends. To immunocompetent people, not necessarily, um, although it is indicative that norovirus is present. Pinsley says they didn't find any significant difference between plastic versus stainless steel bottles, straw or no straw, also didn't seem to impact results. We caught back up with Devandra to show her what her plates grew. That was mine? Mm -hmm. Oh, ew. Her bottle did not have fecal matter on it, but the 30% number still concerns her. That's shocking. Like, that's a lot. Like, I don't like how does that even get there? A report from Michigan State University suggests washing your bottle at the end of every day and taking the extra step to sanitize once a week. That means sticking your bottle in the dishwasher, or if that's not an option, using a weak bleach to sanitize. Devondra's favorite bottle is about to get a little TLC. Ooh, that makes me want to wash it right now. Too. And that report from MSU also suggests not letting your water bottle sit with water in it for long periods. For the I-Team, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. That is really fascinating.